Hi, I'm Eric Johnson, a senior developer advocate on the serverless applications team at AWS. In this video, I have extracted a best practice I believe is the most impactful and easiest to adopt when creating serverless applications. Treating your infrastructure the way you treat your code. Serverless applications built on Lambda do not require you to provision, scale, or manage any servers, letting you focus on your code. The Lambda console makes it easy to jump in, write code, and execute it, but we see people often putting off doing it right until later. Using infrastructure as code allows you to automate deployment and management of your resources. When you define and deploy your infrastructure as code, you can standardize infrastructure components across your organization. You can rebuild your applications quickly and consistently without having to perform manual actions. You can also enforce best practices such as code reviews. AWS CloudFormation lets you describe and provision the infrastructure in your cloud environment. It allows you to use a text file to model the resources needed for your application. This file serves as the single source of truth for your cloud environment. You can then deploy it in an automated and consistent manner. When you're building serverless applications on AWS, you can use AWS CloudFormation directly or choose the AWS serverless application model, also known as SAM. SAM is an open source framework for building serverless applications that make it easier to build applications quickly. SAM provides a shorthand syntax to express APIs, functions, databases, and event source mappings. Because SAM is built on CloudFormation, you can specify any other AWS resources using CloudFormation syntax in the same template. To learn more about SAM, visit aws.amazon.com slash serverless slash SAM. I'm now going to demonstrate using SAM to create a simple image processing app that uses Amazon recognition to detect text and labels in images. When you upload an image to Amazon S3, S3 sends an event to an AWS Lambda function with details of the file. The Lambda function then calls recognition to detect text and labels in the image. It then writes the text and labels into an Amazon DynamoDB table. You can find the source code of this app on the AWS Samples GitHub. Let's get started. The quickest way to get started when building a SAM-based app is to use the SAM CLI, which lets you locally create, build, test, and debug applications defined by SAM templates. Let's take a look. First, I will create a new project using the SAM init command. The SAM init command lets you initialize a ready-to-deploy SAM application in your preferred runtime. You can also initialize SAM applications using a GitHub location. This makes it easy to standardize a common structure and requirements across your organization. For this demo, I'm going to initialize it with the GitHub URL of the sample. So, I type in SAM init dash dash location and provide a link to the repository. Let's open it in PyCharm, a popular Python IDE, to see what's in this application. So, here I have a few files. The source folder contains the source of the Lambda function. The template.yaml is the SAM template and contains a definition of our infrastructure. SampleEvents.json contains a test event that I can use to test and debug my code locally. Really quickly, here's the Lambda function's code. In this main handler, we first get details of the image from the event object sent by S3. We then call Amazon Recognition's Detect Text and Detect Labels APIs and store these results in a DynamoDB table. Now, let's take a look at the same template. This first section is what tells AWS CloudFormation that this is a SAM transform. As you can see, this application has three resources, a function, an S3 bucket, and a table. This event section here tells Sam that when an object is created in the source bucket, it should invoke the Lambda function. The policy section gives this Lambda function the ability to get the objects from S3, call these recognition APIs, and then write to the DynamoDB table. This Sam template is the piece that describes our infrastructure. We can commit this to a repository and use it to deploy this app to multiple environments or accounts. Now, I'm going to use SAM CLI to package and deploy this app. The two commands I need to run are SAM package and SAM deploy. These are in the readme.md, so I'm just going to copy them from there. The first command, SAM package, creates a zip of your code and dependencies, uploads it to S3, and updates the template to point to that S3 location. Once that's done, you use the SAM deploy command to create a CloudFormation stack. If the stack already exists, SAM CLI will create a change set and update the existing stack. This command starts deploying my application. Let's take a look. On the Lambda console, you can see a list of all your serverless applications. 
Drilling deeper into AWS SAM OCR test, the one we just deployed, we can see a list of all the resources that got deployed. Here's where you can see a benefit of creating a template to define your infrastructure. You can deploy the same stack in another region or another account with just one command. For instance, once you're done testing the app and want to roll the changes out to production, you can run the same deploy command with just a change to the stack name. Now, let's say we want to later evolve this app to save the images that failed to process in a different S3 bucket so we can send them for a manual review. I can add a new Amazon S3 resource to the same template and deploy it. Let's see how creating a new resource would work. In my template, I'm going to create a new resource called failed image bucket. That is an S3 bucket. I'm also going to give my function permission to write objects to the S3 bucket. We could later add code to say, if label is empty, copy the image to the failed image bucket. For now, let's deploy this app using SAM CLI. Again, I'm going to package the app and then deploy it. Once the update is deployed, you see the new S3 resource show up. To wrap this up, you can see how using a template to define your infrastructure lets you rebuild your applications quickly and consistently without having to perform manual actions on the console. It also sets you up to adopt best practices such as code reviews. Later, you can even use multiple environments in different accounts to reduce the risk of compromised users or roles impacting your production environment. To further reduce the amount of manual work you need to perform, you can set up a continuous integration, continuous delivery, or CICD pipeline as a next step. For now, to get started with SAM, visit aws.amazon.com slash serverless slash SAM.